But you know, if you're not in control of your time, you're not in control of your results. And, and so, but think, think about this, Charles, I'll put you on the spot. Okay. All right. What's the first thing you think you need to know to be effective with your time? Well, okay, just so you know, the one thing they teach you in law school is the answer to every question like that is depends. It depends. Yeah, okay? yeah it doesn't so, in this case, though. Okay, so, give me the question again. <laughs> yeah, so what's the first thing you need to know to be effective with your time? How much of it I have? No. No. We all have the same. We all have the same till we drop. Right, right. Right? Okay. What do I need to know? About I'm going to give you a couple guesses and well, you don't okay, get so it, then I'm hanging up. For, I'm hanging up for. if you don't get it. I'm telling you, this is going to go short. <laughs> go, go, give it to me. Give it. No, to no. Me. One, okay, one more guess. One more guess. Okay, so the question again is, what do I need to know? What's, to be what's, what's the effective? first thing? The first thing you need to know to be effective with your time. What do I need to accomplish in, in that in a time period, or what are the elements close, I need? To... Close, okay. close, close. So think about this. The first thing you need to know, and this is important, is is what do you want? That's the vision uh, question, isn't it? Which goes up to the vision. Life. That's why vision matters. The yeah. second thing is what matters most. That's the planning question. The third thing is, am I doing it? That's the process control question. The fourth thing is, is it producing? That's the measurement question. Oh, so, so those structures have to be in place for you to be effective with your time. If you don't, if you're not clear on what you want, what matters most, whether or not you're doing it, whether or not it's producing, then all you're going to do is get more efficient at what doesn't matter. But assuming we know that, then we use a time blocking system to really take back control of our day, to carve out time to work strategically on the business, to carve out time to deal with the minutia, the voicemails, the emails, all the admin stuff. And so there's structure to our day. There's a rhythm to how we go through our week. Wow. I love that. That, that, that just tied it all together. It just brought everything right in line, right from the very beginning. Wow. You guys have been working. How long have you been doing this, Brian? I mean, this is like, you know, that's the thing I've been, I've been working on this since I first got, out of college, really yeah. trying to figure out what works for me and then realizing, you know what, I'm no different than anybody else. <laughs> yeah. And yeah. now is this, is this your full business? You teach people all about, about yeah. yep. managing their time. That's yep. awesome. That yep. is so cool. It's how to, how to apply the 12 week year, how to accomplish more in 12 weeks and most of the weeks. Yeah. And it's not about by working harder or longer. It's not about taking everything you do in 12 months and trying to cram it into 12 weeks. It's about working different.